We are doing a full body stretch routine today that's all about the basics, meaning we're gonna hit each body part. Any level of mover can do this from beginner to advanced, and hopefully you'll feel a little bit better at the end. So we're gonna start seated, and you can sit anywhere. You can do this sitting in a chair, you can do this sitting in bed, you can do it sitting on a stool or on the ground. I want you where you are most comfortable, okay? So we're gonna start seated, and we're gonna inhale to reach the right arm up, and then reach it over to the side. Sweep it back up towards the ceiling, lower it back down. We're gonna do the other side. So we inhale the arm up, exhale, side bend over, inhale to return, exhale the arm down. So think one breath per movement. Nice job, follow your own breath, realizing that breathing is an important piece here, just to have a pattern for your body to follow. And also many times when we have that strain and that tightness, we actually stop breathing a little bit. And so by focusing on your breathing here, you can help relax your muscles just by focusing on the breath, okay? Last one, inhale. Exhale over, inhale back up, exhale down. Nice job. I want you to inhale both arms up, exhale, slightly twist to your right. So I'm gonna bring one hand behind me and one in front, and then I'm gonna reach back up, and exhale, switch to the left. So again, this is great sitting in a chair, sitting at your desk, in bed if needed. I don't want you to ever feel limited with wherever your body is on any given day, okay? So you adjust the positions for whatever is right for you. And we'll do one more to the other side. So starting to get our spine involved, definitely into our neck and our shoulders with this nice, gentle movement. Nice job. Take your right ear over to your right shoulder and just give yourself a couple breaths here. And bring the head back up and we'll take it to the other side. So by moving in this way, you're helping to calm your nervous system. You're helping blood flow. You can help decrease your heart rate, calm your body, bring fluid to your joints and your muscles. Nice job. So I'm gonna bring my left leg out to the side. So if you are sitting in a chair or again in bed, you can adjust this position for what's right for you, all right? I'm gonna have my left hand down by my left knee. My right arm comes back up. We already did that piece. And now I'm gonna slide my left hand along that leg to reach over and then gently come back up. Same thing. So you'll notice we're really moving with our breath. I'm not making you hold anything too long, just a few positions here and there. Our body tends to respond a little bit better sometimes to this gentle ebb and flow versus just forcing ourselves into a position we're not ready to be in yet. <laughs> so this will be our last one. Now you have a choice. You can just come back up to seated or if you are ready and you wanna stay here for a moment, you can. And what you can do is use this left elbow to fulcrum or pivot yourself to look up towards the ceiling and then slowly return, okay? So always options here. And we're just gonna switch legs. Right leg out, left leg in. And again, if you're sitting in a chair, you're gonna do the same thing, okay? Inhale, exhale over and then inhale back up. So 
So feel like you're trying to make kind of this little C shape or like a rainbow shape with your torso as you reach up and over that leg. And then last one, we're gonna reach up and over. And again, you either just return or see how it feels to hold this just for a moment. These nice kind of slower paced routines and return are a good chance to just listen to what your body is saying to you. No pressure, anything like that. Just kind of listen and see what's going on. Okay, we're gonna lay down on our backs. So wherever you have space to do it, and this also can just be done in bed. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna bring our arms out to a T, all right? And I want you to take the right knee and let it drop to the right and then bring it back up and then the left leg. And this again can be a nice small motion. It can be a little bit bigger if you're comfortable with that. And then now, if you'd like, you can do both legs at the same time, nice and slow. They come over and then use that control to bring them back. But that's optional. Otherwise, you're just gonna stay with single leg. So you'll probably sense a theme here. We're really doing movements that are helping kind of that blood flow and that fluid movement in your joints and in your muscles. We're getting your spine moving. This is a routine that can be done every single day to help your energy, to help you loosen up. Okay, on this next one, I'm gonna take my legs over to the right and I'm gonna stay there and I'm gonna look to the left. And then back to center. Take it the other way. And then slowly back to center. And you can reach your left leg out long and hug your right knee in. Now, wherever you can grab this leg is fine. What I want you to think about is trying to squeeze it in just as much as you can. And maybe you're holding behind the thigh, right? So if you can't bend your knee all the way, just hold behind the thigh like this to give it a good squeeze. But I want you to think about trying to squeeze to get some compression in the hip joint. Again, really good for our joints to get that compression. And then when you're ready, you're gonna hold behind the leg and we're gonna reach it up and inhale, bend. Exhale, reach. So if you are sitting in a chair, you can do the same thing and you're just extending your leg out and then bending it. You are still getting a benefit, okay? It might work muscles a little bit differently, but any movement, is going to be beneficial. Okay, reach up, stay here, flex your foot and point. So we're actually gliding our sciatic nerve here. Three, two, one. Good, and then just give yourself a couple ankle rolls in each direction. We don't wanna forget about our ankles and our feet and our toes. And then hug that knee in again, give it that good squeeze. Then bend your left knee like so, and you're gonna place your right ankle on that knee or thigh, and this is what we call figure four stretch. So this might be enough, and you can just stay here. If you're sitting in a chair, it's like you're crossing your legs and you can do it just like that. If you need more of a stretch, you're gonna pull those legs in towards you and you can hold behind the left thigh or even maybe on top of the left shin. And you're gonna feel this 
anywhere in your right, like behind the upper leg into your right glute and your right buns. It's a piriformis stretch. And that piriformis muscle sits right in the middle of that bun area. <laughs> and it can get really tight. If you ever find yourself throughout the day wanting to sit and kind of lay on a tennis ball right in that area or even put the corner of a desk in that area because it feels so tight, that's your piriformis. And this is a good stretch for that. Nice job. And we'll release and just hug both knees in and rock it side to side. And then let's reach the right leg out and hug the left one in. So think about that compression, squeeze that leg in, hold behind the thigh if you need to. If that knee doesn't like to be bent, that is okay. I usually kind of rock it side to side a little bit, basically giving myself a hug. <laughs> okay, and then hold behind the leg and the leg is away from you now and you're gonna reach it up and then bend. So here's where we're gonna find that exhale again. Exhale and see if you can exhale some tension out of your body. Reach it up, stay here. Flex, point, flex, point. Three, two, one. Nice job. Couple circles in each direction, helping again that blood flow. Nice job, bend the knee. So we're gonna bend that right knee and this is the piriformis or our figure four stretch. So the ankle rests on the knee. Again, this might be enough or you can start to work the legs in towards you. If you are sitting in a chair, then what you'll do is you can bend forward over your legs once you've crossed that knee. And that's something I even do throughout the day if I'm at my desk, if I'm in the car in the passenger seat for a long time, those kind of things. If I'm stuck at an airport, I'll try to do a lot of these stretches in chairs just to keep moving. Our bodies aren't meant to be stagnant. We weren't made to be stagnant. So movement is good. Motion is lotion. Nice job, hug both knees in. And then roll to your side. We're just gonna push ourselves back up to a seated position. So back to whatever is most comfortable for you. If you were cross-legged like I was at the beginning, try to cross the other ankle on top. Okay, see if you can find both sit bones down and let's inhale the right arm up again. Exhale over, see if maybe that's a little more comfortable. Inhale up, exhale down. Maybe you've discovered a little bit more motion, maybe a little bit more space than when we started. Last one. Nice job, inhale both arms up. And then exhale, fold forward, reach your arms forward wherever they land. Inhale and exhale, restack your spine, coming all the way back up to seated. And nice job. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, that workout is one that can be done every day if you need that little bit of opening and space in your body in a nice gentle way and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, comment, and subscribe to be notified when I have new videos that come out. You can find more including my exclusive unlimited community with full length workouts, a workout calendar, recipes, and more over at jessicavalantpilates.com. Join our unlimited program. I would love to see you there.